What up everybody, it's your boy Gaming Forte, back at it with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you do all of those things along with the notification bell so you can know the next time one of my videos go live. Now, there looks like there's going to be a long awaited feature added to the PlayStation Now service and that ability will give you the option to be able to download games directly to your system from the service itself. Ever since the Game Pass subscription model started on Xbox One just over a year ago, this has been one of the most requested features of the PlayStation Now service. Xbox One has the ability to be able to download these games directly to the system and be able to play them natively on your system versus having to stream them like you are on PlayStation Now. But it looks like we're very close to the reality of these games being downloaded directly to the system because a recent Reddit user named Satertech shared a screenshot on Reddit and it actually showed the PlayStation Now service having the download option available while he was playing the game. Now this isn't something that you can actually take advantage of right now, but it looks like this will be turned on in the near future. We're basically just waiting for more information to come out from Sony around how this is actually going to work and we'll get the benefits of being able to download these games directly to our system and just forego all the lag and all the latency that you get by streaming games over the internet. I do know personally if this feature does get turned on, I will probably use it. I do like the benefits of being able to download the games directly to the system and that will actually entice me to actually try some of those older games that are out that I haven't played yet. But one of the downsides to this I see is they're only really implementing PS4 games it looks like as of right now. No word of PS3 but they haven't talked about this feature in general but all of the options look like they're only available on the PS4 version of the game and not PS3 and that's one thing that I hope they actually add in later to be able to download any of those games from that massive library that they have on the PlayStation Now service. I do think this brings PlayStation a little bit closer in line to what Microsoft is doing with their Game Pass service, but they do have a long way to go. The fact that Xbox allows you to play original Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, and Xbox One games all on the same system through their backwards compatibility based through their Game Pass service and download them directly to your system no matter what system you have, and that just cannot be overstated. As of right now, a lot of people are getting on Microsoft about their services, but this is one service that really works for them and I can see Sony really trying to implement something like this in the near future to actually bring themselves more in line. But when this service does get implemented I will applaud Sony for actually doing it. This is something a lot of people thought they would never do and this gives them abilities to allow their people to actually play their games in a better circumstance and that is always a win for gamers overall. They do have a long way to go. Microsoft is really cornered the market with these services and some of the PlayStation people will tell you that that's actually a really good thing that Microsoft's doing that because it's given Sony the ability to have even more of a leg up when it comes to the games. Now once Microsoft starts bringing those games and these services all start coming together as a unique unity thing under Xbox, then we're going to see a different conversation going forward. But as of right now, services are the one thing that holds Microsoft really up in the atmosphere that they are now, but Sony always has those games to fall back on. And that's not going to change until Microsoft can just change the narrative they have for themselves around that first party studio. But as of right now, Microsoft has a really good implementation of what they're doing around Game Pass, around backwards compatibility. But when it comes to PlayStation Now, I think that service is going to get better and better and better the more they iterate on it over the course of the future and as more people get into the service. So guys, what do you think? PlayStation Now, Xbox One Game Pass, which one do you think is better? Which one is more feasible for you as a gamer to actually play under? And which one do you prefer? Do you prefer downloading your games or streaming your games i definitely want to hear what you have to say in the comment section on that and guys like i always say thanks for watching this video sub to the channel if you haven't like this video if you like the content it definitely helps out the channel a lot turn on those notifications gonna let you know the next time one of my videos go live it's your boy gaming forte you guys have a great week and i'm gonna talk to you in the next video peace